Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 15, restructuring the Council of Guardianship on the money of minors and their equivalents, with the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments as Chairman and the membership as following, for a period of two renewable years. Rida Abdullah Faraj, Jasm Ahmed Al Mirza, Engineer Ibrahim Hassam Al Hawaj, Abdul Jalil Ali Ahmed Al Haiki, Engineer Manaf Yusuf Hamza, Mohammed Al Sheikh Ahmed Al Asfor, Engineer Naji Sab Salim Sabt, and Ali Hassan Nazir Al Kizali. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today at his office at Al Wadi Valley the Spanish Olympic Committee President, Alejandro Blanca Bravo, in the presence of the Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Mohammed Hassan Al Nisif. His Highness reviewed with the Spanish Olympic Committee Chairman means of bolstering relations between Bahrain and Spain in the field of sports stemming from the sports protocol signed between Bahrain Olympic Committee and the Spanish Olympic Committee last September, which contributes to sports development. His Highness expressed pride in the visit of the Spanish Olympic Committee President, welcoming to the Kingdom and affirming that this visit reflects the relations of cooperation between Bahrain and Spain. He affirmed the two Olympic Committees will continue to boast to joint cooperation for his part, President Bravo stated that the Kingdom exerts extensive efforts to support sports and create an adequate environment for athletes to encourage the application of Olympic values and the goals of sustainable development. He expressed pleasure with the cooperation between the Spanish and the Barini Olympic Committees, saying that it will help implement various programmes that will help realise the joint interest of both countries. He expressed appreciation for the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid to support and develop Bahraini sports through implementing a package of developmental achievements aimed at enhancing the level of Bahraini sports and athletes. The Minister of Education, Dr Majid bin Ali al Noemi, said that the new academic year will witness the launch of more than 60 new and developed textbooks practical manuals and teacher's guides in all academic levels and in various subjects. The new textbooks will include Arabic and English, education, citizenship and applied sciences. The capital governor, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, participated in the conference, A Bridge for Cities 2020, held remotely by the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, International governors participated in the conference where Sheikh Hisham said light on the effects of the Kingdom to mitigate the repercussions of COVID-19 at all levels. He stated that the vision of the country's leadership and precautionary measures taken at the local level have alleviated the negative impact of the virus at economic, social and developmental levels. He noted that technology has played a vital role in combating the pandemic where around 70% of the workforce in the public sector were able to work remotely. He also underscored the digital transformation initiatives that granted citizens, residents and companies easy access to a vast array of digital services. He also underscored the EDU Net e-learning portal, saying that it facilitated the transition from conventional education to distance learning for students. The capital governor healed the efforts of Bahraini women in combating the virus, highlighting the efforts of the Supreme Council for Women, led by its president, her Royal Highness, Princess Abika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, through which support plans were provided to women during the pandemic. Representing His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Global Centre for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated in the meeting of the Cultural Diplomacy Forum 2020 during the 75th UN General Assembly high-level event held remotely with the participation of the forum's founders. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that cultural diplomacy is an indispensable empowerment tool for new generations to achieve peace and harmony worldwide. He stressed that the centre seeks to promote the values of tolerance and peaceful coexistence and believes in the power of cultural diversity and its positive impacts on people and societies. 
He added that the kingdom has also played a pivotal role in connecting the cultures of the East and the West. Sheikh Khaled highlighted that peaceful coexistence has been a part of normal daily life in the kingdom for thousands of years until the present day, which contributed in the development and progress witnessed in Bahrain under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. He expressed the centre's desire to cooperate with the Cultural Diplomacy Forum to highlight the strong points of the cultural diplomacy and expressed aspirations to work on a joint cultural project in the future and invited the representatives of the forum and its co-founders to visit Bahrain after the end of the coronavirus pandemic. The Ministry of Health registered more than 7,400 volunteers for the third phase of the clinical trials of the inactive coronavirus vaccine. The Ministry reiterated its call to eligible society members to volunteer in the clinical trial by visiting the Clinical Trial Centre at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Conference Centre from 8am until 8pm. Sudanese Ambassador to Bahrain Ibrahim Mohammed Al Hassan Ahmed paid tribute to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, healing the kingdom's stances in support of sustainable development, prosperity, and stability in his country. He praised Bahrain's drive to achieve security and peace in his country and support the efforts of the government of Sudan in all development fields. He commended Bahrain's presence at the signing of the peace agreement between the government of Sudan and a number of armed movements last Saturday in Juba, in South Sudan. He also praised Bahrain's humanitarian relief aid to compatriots who were affected by floods and torrential rain, which he said, joint relations of friendship, cooperation and solidarity. The ambassador said that the signed agreements and upcoming deals would contribute to strengthening security and stability and boosting development. Aluminium Bahrain Alba, the world's largest aluminium smelter, has been honoured with two prestigious awards in the field of investors' relations in the Kingdom. The awards were received at Alba's participation in the 2020 Middle East Investor Relations Association MEIRA Annual Conference and Awards Ceremony. The MEIRA Annual Conference and Awards is the largest investor relations IR event in the Middle East and North Africa which recognises the efforts of regionally listed companies and IR professionals for their critical role in shaping the IR landscape. It is also a platform for locally listed firms, international corporates, investors, research analysts, advisors and regulatory bodies to share best practices and discuss the market challenges. The recent establishment of relations with Israel under the patronage of the USA represents a remarkable step and reflects His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's wisdom, as well as ambitious vision of spreading comprehensive peace, tolerance, and justice. In a special interview with Bahrain International Television, President of International Peace Institute, Terzi Rod Lawson, highlighted the importance of such a step to bolster stability in the region and extend bridges of collaboration towards achieving common interests. I think this is not only good for the Palestinians, it's a very principled agreement. And much of the debate has been mixing uh, apples and oranges uh, in the sense that there, is a, there, are, there should actually be two debates here, one about the ends and one about the means on how to get to the end. This is in the best interest of the Palestinian people, for their identity to have a state, to be proud to be Palestinians, and for their welfare. Because the two most efficient states in the past in the region to support the Palestinian cause has been Jordan and Egypt, because they were sitting at the table to defend the interests of the, Pal of the Palestinian people. Now uh, Bahrain and the UAE have put themselves in the, same, in the same position. The policy of the empty seat, that you don't sit at the table, has failed. And this is now realized and rectified. And I, I, I do deeply believe that both Bahrain and the UAE will now be in a much better position to defend the Palestinian position and to support the welfare of the Palestinian people. The full interview will be aired tonight at 8pm on Bahrain International Television. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,991 with 458 recoveries, 454 registered new cases and one death. 
127 of the new registered cases were expatriates. 324 are contacts of active cases and three are travel related. The deceased was a 73 year old female citizen. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.